Texas and South Scout in the bye week. What would you think of your position going through the first five games? Uh, biggest thing we got to clean up is technique. Technique, you know, when you look at the things we're doing schematically, when you look at the situations that we've been in schematically, as far as just finishing on ball carriers, we just got to tackle better. You know, and, and being great tacklers is the true essence of playing great defense. And we've tackled well in some situations, and we haven't tackled well in some situations. So the focus coming off of bye week has been technique, hand placement, proper eyes, and then just finishing on the ball carrier with the right leverage and being violent and tackling and playing well in space. Obviously, Ryan's a guy we saw a lot through the mm -hmm. first five weeks. Uh, what would you think of his first five weeks? What's he giving you guys? He's just got to continue to get better. The, you know, the things we've been asking him to do, he's done. The things that, that we've been asking him to do, there has been some inconsistencies. The beauty of it as we look at uh, the first five games we played is the level of, of accurate execution versus non-accurate execution. We've done things right way more than we've done things wrong, but there's still a high level that we expect to play at that we just got to continue to press towards. Andrew James has kind of got the big mm -hmm. club. How have you seen him adapt to having that? I mean, it's, it's hard to adapt to playing with one hand at times, you know, but uh, he, he, he's doing well. He's doing well. He's going to, he plays fast. He's physical. Uh, you know, it's not the most ideal situation for him, but it's just, you know, it's the cards he's been dealt right now, and he's going to continue to persevere through. Does that affect your rotations, just knowing that it's kind of a, a difficult task to go out there? Mm -hmm. No, I, I have all the faith in the world and, and, and all of our guys and the guys that we've given certain roles to, they have those roles because we know they can do them and do them effectively. And so I've been I've been pleased with that. I've seen lots of guys go. Dylan, just mm -hmm. what, what would you say about how he's played the first you know, third of the season? You know, Rosie's a guy that has high expectations of himself. You know, we have high expectations of him. There will never be a time with any of our guys where we will be like, okay, uh, he's doing everything great. Like the, the, the room for growth and improvement will always be there. Uh, Dylan Rosiak is, is for sure one of the leaders on our defense. And so what we expect of him is just going to continue to increase every week. Coach, be able to talk about how last week was important for you know, the guys that hadn't got a ton of game reps. Mm -hmm. Who in your room did you obviously take advantage of maybe getting a little extra? Man, you know, a lot of the, a lot of, a lot of our younger players, you know, when you look at guys, when you look at guys like Easton Baker, or when you look at guys like TJ Griffin, uh, when you take guys that travel with us like Malachi Hood, uh, uh, guys in, in, in that realm that even though they travel, still haven't gotten as many game reps, that whole week was dedicated strictly for them. You know, Luke Zarzan took a lot of it, took advantage of a lot of those opportunities last week. Like I said, again, I mentioned TJ Griffin, more important. Just all those guys that just are truly in the developmental stage of their careers, that's what that week was geared towards. How much can that pay off maybe still this season or just you know, even in the future? For just uh, those I've, I've, I've been very fortunate, very blessed. This is my 19th season. There's never been a season in 19 years where I haven't seen a player that participated in the bye week activity not end up playing for you in a game. So I, I think that's that's why that's so important. You know, again, it goes back to development and those reps aid in their development. Yeah, we're going to get another one of those a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Talk about like if he can get two bye weeks every year, he's going to do it. Just what, what's the advantage of a couple of those weeks in the end of the season? Oh man, it's huge, especially when you look at the way ours are laid out. Uh, just number one, again, continuing to get guys reps, getting guys who may have some bumps and some bruises, some aches and pains, getting them healed up. Just that that volume of rest and opportunity for rest is priceless in this in this game. And like I said, all of our bye weeks are hitting at a time that as coaches, you, know, you couldn't ask for a better schedule. And so we're going to take full advantage of that. A lot of recruiting uh, during the bye week. What kind of reception are you getting out on the trail? And would you say the kids are taking notice of the good start to the season? Oh, yeah, ab absolutely. Absolutely. And, then, you know, the biggest thing with recruiting is just I think, you know, we've had an opportunity to – it's unfortunate, but, you know, a lot of people didn't expect us to have some success in certain rounds. And, and, you know, hats off to the leader of our program, Coach B, and then our coordinators and other assistant coaches and our players. We all know what we're capable of. Uh, the goal and the focus doesn't change. And so we just try to prepare for that every single day. And, and what we've done up to this point is a byproduct, but by no means are we satisfied or happy where we are. We just got to keep keep moving.
I know you're just looking for good players, but is there a certain profile you look for in a, in a linebacker that maybe fit, fits this scheme here? If you're big, fast, and tough, you fit our scheme. You know, that that's what we're looking for. Uh, you know, I try not to get too tunnel vision on a guy it has to look exactly like this. But you want guys that are like tough, smart, and dependable. Uh, of course, with college football today, you need guys that can run and guys that can play in space. You know, so you know when you look at that overall DNA, that's that's what we're looking for. Try not to make it too complicated. Thanks.